I really was questioning, like, did you love me? But I feel like if she loses me, she don't give a f She wants to be single. She wants to live that life. It was disappointing. What you did, it was detrimental to where we broke the f up. Wait, I did these things, but like you kind of just showed me like my worth. I need to be happy for myself. What you were showing me and what you were showing the world and your friends was two different things. So I had to confirm whether or not you were somebody that could be trusted. The breakup was so detrimental to me and my must haves in this relationship was not being met. To me, if you take a break, you are not dating other people. You're not sleeping with other people. None of that. I can't hold you hostage. You a grown woman. I need to know what's really going on so that I know, am I really just closing myself off to any possibility of us ever working or not? I was chasing you. I was, I was always chasing you. I chase you even when I know you wrong. Fight for me, fight for this love. For me, this is what I need you to fight for. So are we really never gonna be together again? What if I'm really not your soulmate? What's up, y'all? Welcome to Just, Just Between, Between Us, Us podcast. podcast. I'm Easy. I'm Natalie. And this is our first podcast episode how you feeling I'm so excited yo. i'm so excited i don't even know what to do with myself i just want to like jump up and down right now yo i don't even like i've never had a podcast before and to have it with you is just so amazing like for y'all that don't know natalie started off to be my best friend uh, a couple years ago we met in 2016 and now we are what are, wait wait whoa what are we you know what well, you know what we're gonna get into <laughs> that get what into we it. are <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a lot's been going on. So recently, we actually broke up. It's been a couple months now. Yeah, a couple months we were broken up, and um, it was kind of tough. You know, um, we hadn't been broke up. We we only ever we broke up. Yeah, when we've broken, we've broken up before. But every yeah. time we broke up, it was always like a little, like a little something. This was for real. This yeah, was for real. real. But we're gonna get into that in a minute. But yeah. I will say, like, give them. Let's give them a little rundown. Okay. Anyone who is new to listening to us. We started off as best, best friends, friends in like 2017. Yes. And then she confessed her love for me. What year was that? That was literally 2019, I <laughs> think. Was and for you guys that don't know, I'm a lesbian. Natalie at this point in 2017 was a straight girl, one of the straightest girls I ever thought I'd meet. Not just in 2017. Yeah, like, like her, her whole life. life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> her whole life, bro. So we were literally best friends. We started on YouTube. I mean, we started like doing social media and stuff like that. But, um, you know, we created a YouTube channel together and it was phenomenal. Our best friend relationship was just going viral, whatever. And on YouTube, I decided to confess my love to her. And I was like, you know what? We document everything. So I want to document this process. And I confessed my love. And she said yes. I did say yes. I, I said <laughs> yes. I took the leap of faith. And now here yeah. we are three years later. Broken up. No. Broken the fuck <laughs> up. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Sheesh. So wait, how did? Okay, so wait, 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 wait. A lot of people, like I said, they're probably listening. You know what I'm saying? If you guys are listening, make sure you guys tune in to the YouTube. We got a video here. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah. So we're gonna definitely be showing visuals for each episode yes. on our YouTube channel where our love story still lives. So if you are new to Easy X Natalie, go check out that five part <laughs> Oscar winning series that easy put together yeah. while you know still trying to go through my emotions of yeah. like being in love but it's crazy how does it feel um how did you, how do you feel like what do you feel right now even like what did it feel like being single <sighs> my heart just started like doing a little something when you even <sighs> said the word single damn I'm honestly sorry. it's still it's like traumatizing it's traumatic yeah, yeah. It you're was, smiling it, though because I'm past it now but okay. honestly being single in the context that we were single it wasn't just like fun and like oh whatever whatever like you know going out turning up for me at least mm -hmm. um it Whoa, was shade yep y'all can see the shade it's Honestly, it was really, it was really tough. Um, very emotional. I don't think I've cried that much in my entire life. Every day, all day. It was a lot. But yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. And and the reason why I say I'm sorry is because it was, I, I put a letter, 
I put a lot of hurt in your heart, and I know I did, and I do want to say I'm sorry publicly if you needed that, but you already know what time it is. She <laughs> 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 so you know what time it is, cuz. But, um, nah, it was, it was tough for me, too, though. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with the breakup, I feel like we were together every single day, which I feel like we're still consistently now. We live together or whatever, but it was tough. You know what I'm saying? I felt like I was losing my best friend, and I felt like we were getting so comfortable and the things that I needed in the relationship, I felt like I wasn't getting, you know what I'm saying? And it was just really hard. So making that decision was just like, damn, I don't want to lose you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I got, I'm got, i losing myself. Mm. I'm losing myself in this process. And in order for us to be healthy, I got to be healthy. You know what I'm saying? I can't give you my all. I'm the, my full version of myself if I'm not even happy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we had those non-negotiables that kept being bro- broken. And it was tough. So. Yeah, I... I completely agree. You know, I feel like even though this breakup was like, it felt like the worst thing that had, I won't say the worst thing that ever happened to me, mm-hmm. but one of, there was up there, you yeah, know, it was yeah. one up there with like one of the most traumatizing experiences for me and most emotional experiences for me. Now that we were able to make it through all of the garbage and all of the hurt and the pain, I, it's one of the best decisions that we've made a hundred percent, a hundred percent because locked in the we're like, Hey, ain't, ain't, ain't no, no switching up. up. <laughs> <laughs> we um, need to move these mics closer. Come on, I feel like, man, I feel like I miss you. you. I, I miss know. you. We're so far. <laughs> okay. So wait, 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 wait. So, so I'll let you finish. I'll let you finish. I'll let you finish. Yeah. I'll let you finish. So, you know, I feel like it a hundred percent. What she's saying is true. Mm-hmm. Like we got to a point where, Three years into the relationship, if it's three years, y'all, we be losing count. Y'all, y'all know better. And than the us. reason why they be thinking because we have a big fan base, they be thinking because we make shit up. No, it's because we got a best friend anniversary, we got an actual anniversary, we got a uh, fuck goddamn. Now we got a breakup goddamn anniversary. No, we ain't celebrating that one. We ain't celebrate that. But I'm just saying, we have so many things that we celebrate and uh, share online. Yeah. So we be forgetting which one is which. Y'all Don't, keep us on uh, track. That's what I love about y'all. But continue. Well, what I was trying to say is. I feel like, I don't even know what I was saying now. <laughs> my bad, my bad. It's y'all. okay. My bad. No, I feel like, you know. How do you deal with, how'd you deal with a breakup? Wait, no, I'm about to go say something else. Oh, my bad, go ahead. Yeah, so sometimes when you get to a point where you've been together for three years, but then before that you were best friends, and even as best friends, like, we we had a different type of friendship. It, it was we had together. relationship problems in a friendship. It was kind of crazy, but yeah. So we were kind of dealing with a lot for a long time. And at a certain point, you do get too comfortable. Yeah. And we you do start creating creating habits that become the norm in your relationship. And I think that's what happened. Mm-hmm. We created habits that were the norm in the relationship that we had to be like, hold up. Yeah. Three years into this. Hey, I'm not trying to do this for the rest of my life. Like, yeah. I'm not trying to do X, Y and Z or, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to give up these things that are my must haves, you know? So, but still that, Oh my God, that breakup was, it was, I, I don't, I thought I was going to die of dehydration. How much I was crying. Like seriously, I feel like, you know, we dealt with the breakup two different ways. Um, and with the breakup, at least for social media, a lot of people thought that, oh, Natalie's not really posting. And, you know, even with, um, you know, your friends and stuff like that, like, easy look like she's just going out and all this other stuff. While you're at home, you're not really posting. You're not consistent. You're not really showing anything. And it looks like I'm just happy. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like a lot of people deal with breakups differently. And I looked a little happy to me, too. Oh, I'm not I'm not going to lie. It I looked happy. Giving, it was giving happy, you know, and I'm and I wasn't trying to throw it in your face, you know, and this is how I was dealing with a breakup for me. This is how I was dealing with my breakup. I felt like I had been confined too confined to the relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like we need our space and that's healthy space, hanging out with your friends, going out and stuff like that. And I feel like at that time we had become so toxic with the arguing and not knowing how to communicate our emotions thoroughly to where it was like when we broke up, I felt like I I was like, okay, I need to, I need to find some type of happiness. I think I was seeking happiness in the wrong places. You know what I'm saying? And being around my friends instead of actually dealing with my hurt, I was dealing, I was suppressing it. 
You know what I'm saying? And I was going out and it felt good. It felt good. Like, okay, cool. Like I'm not acting wild, but it just feels good to be out. And let me block all that, um, hurt, you know, and put it behind my, but put it behind me. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I was doing. And I was, uh, compartmentalizing my actual feelings, mm. um, instead of dealing with it. And I felt like with you, you were actually going through the emotions. It was real was, for me. Yeah. From you the was, moment, from the moment we broke up and we were up in yeah. my room or our room. We were up. In- <laughs> <laughs> we live together still. We're, right. Yeah. But you were sleeping, you were sleeping at your, your family member's house and stuff too. Yeah. 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 But I'm but, just talking about the moment when we broke up. Like it was, it was real. Is it triggering now to talk about it? It is. It is. I mean, you know, I just broke down crying to yeah. you the other day and I didn't even know it was that triggering for me still because we've been working on things for a little bit now, but we just didn't want to go public with everything yet. But um, it is still triggering. I feel like I, I, I went through a lot of emotions. A lot of things happened during the breakup, even that just hurt me and made me just feel like, you know, I, I don't know. It was just very hurtful. So I'm still dealing with those emotions and it still feels like the t- it, it feel, still feels like so, so recent. What kind you know? of, what kind of advice would you give to somebody that is going through a breakup? You know what I'm saying? What advice did you did you need? You know what I'm saying? Because I couldn't be there for you like I usually do and give you the advice. You Which know was saying? so weird because we're best friends too. Yeah. So it was like the person that I would usually want comfort from. And, and we tried that. We tried during the breakup. Yeah. We tried comforting each other while the other person's crying because we're both hurt. And that was too. That was it was too, so weird. It, it was, was like, so how weird. do you how do you take comfort from the person who you feel hurt by, you know what I'm saying? So if I had to give any advice to somebody that is currently going through a breakup, I would say deal with it, deal with your emotions immediately. Mm -hmm. I would say, I would say don't, don't suppress them, even though it's really Mm -hmm. tough. I think you get through it faster that way. I think you'll get through it faster and you'll understand what you need to do next Mm -hmm. faster than if you kind of like prolong those feelings and kind of just like suppress them by doing other things and stuff. Then it might hit you even harder later and it could be too late to take certain actions. Yeah, totally. I mean, we're two different people. We deal with things totally different and the way that you dealt with it versus the way that I deal with it. I'm not saying that my way was right but it I felt like it didn't not help me you know what I'm saying like it didn't not help me for me and and the reason why I said that it made me realize a lot you know it made me realize what I was actually doing and I felt like I didn't know I was doing it until I was like wait why do I feel so like cold you know, at night, I couldn't figure out what that feeling was or feeling lonely. Of course, it you know, we're breaking up, but it was just like, you know what, like, I'm what, what are my friends doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? And then it was like becoming so habitual for me that that's when I realized, like, okay, I, I tend to do this and I tend to move like this even with work. Like, I try not to show so many emotions. So imagine when I'm actually going through a breakup, of course, I'm going to do this naturally. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, I would necessarily, for my advice... I don't know if you were asking. Yeah, um, what kind of advice would you give somebody that <laughs> is going through a breakup? Um, I would give them take the time that you need because, first of all, a person gonna show their true colors when they're broken up, mm-hmm. and they will, they will, <laughs> they will, and that's why you thought that I probably wasn't like actually, you know, hurt or whatever. But a person will show the true colors, and I felt like. The things I needed you to do, like, you did them. You know what I'm saying? It was like, once we broke up, it was like, at first it was that, okay, we still like, all right, we kissing here and there. It ain't really a breakup. But then it was like, okay, the shit got real, you know? And I felt like you knew that it was a possibility you were going to lose me. And at a point, and when you real, oh, sorry, I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm the only valuable person here. But I feel like when I realized that moment, like, damn, she honors me and she loves me and she's doing things that she needs to do to show like she still wants to be with me you know what I'm saying and that made me like okay well I want to do things to show her I want to be together you know what I'm saying so I felt like maybe it's good to take that space but you know see what's up and but it also shouldn't have to take a breakup to for them to change you know what I'm saying sometimes it does sometimes Sometimes it it does. does and yeah 
I don't know. I like that advice, but I also will say that if I was going based off, just based off of your actions during our breakup, we wouldn't be here right now. Wait a minute. Because okay, let's talk about it. Let's just, just between, between us. us. Let me tell let's you talk what about she was out okay, here no, doing. Let's talk about it because this is this is the podcast where like not only we're we gonna talk about different topics that's going on in the world. But I want to really talk to you. You know what I'm saying? And I really want to hear your opinion. I'm pretty sure the world wants to hear your opinion. You know what I'm saying? So what was it? Like, what you felt? Like, why you, then, then what's up? Why are you here right now then? Because obviously I, I was doing know. something right. You I was doing something right. Hey, this podcast right now, this conversation right now is making me be like, oh, word. if I'm going based off of what you just said, no. All right. I will say well, let's talk this, about it. Let's so talk about I will it. say this. You will 100% see the a different version of your partner when you break up and you just right. better pray and hope that you still like that version of them mm-hmm. and because that version of them is really and truly who they are what you know okay and, okay and and i'm and you can't just judge it based off of a weak breakup because yeah you're true. gonna go through cycles in that breakup and that first week you might be going out and stuff like that you can't be like this is who you are in that <laughs> first week because then the next week they might be just at home boohoo crying and texting you you know what i'm saying so you got to give it enough time and we 100 gave it a good amount of time i will say that there was some disappointment i felt what disappointment little, what I'm was the disappointment right now talk to me talk to me what was the disappointment just between us there was there was some disappointment in uh-huh. the way that you carried yourself during our breakup. I feel like th- I feel like you seemed very single, just I feel single. single. Yeah. You were it, it was it was giving cold mm-hmm. towards me in certain yeah. moments, you know. And I felt like the part that was so confusing is that the way we broke up wasn't like some bad like it's over. We yeah. literally had an adult conversation y'all we sat up in our bedroom and we talked for hours Hours. about how we were just unhappy and crying to each other and then like it was deep it was was so so deep deep. it was the most deep and like i guess girl (laughs) adult conversation that i think we had ever had Mm -hmm. so when your energy felt like just so distant single and cold towards me right like and then i'm seeing you out all the time and stuff and it didn't seem like the goal was to get back together Mm -hmm. and it felt like, oh, maybe this is who she is. Maybe this is what she wants. She wants to be single. She wants to yeah. live that life. So it was it was disappointing. I feel, you know what? I feel that. And I think for me, it's like I I was doing that. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't necessarily like, yeah, I'm single now, ready for the hoes, all the other stuff. Because I was very vocal with you. And I was, uh, I was honest, you know what I'm saying? You did see some things that you didn't want to see or whatever look she's trying look at this look oh my god if y'all could see this look now we are past that okay no, we're not oh no, shit we're we not. got more to talk about wow let's get deep i wouldn't say we're past we're not past it, it but we are very okay let me let me finish let me finish because it can get it can get hot and juicy and you know my brother's back here just smiling <laughs> and i was like what's about to happen um no but i feel like for me i just wanted it wasn't that i wanted attention but i i was seeking So the feeling of feeling like I wanted you to want me, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to be wanted. I wanted to feel like the prize. I feel like me to want you or you wanted to want you. No, no, I wanted to be wanted. And when I, and let me break this down because a lot of people can probably relate to this. I felt like in the relationship we, we had come so far, you know, it was, it was beautiful. It was nice. But I also felt like you felt like you were the prize and you mm-hmm. knew that the little minuscule times that we broke up, I was chasing you. Mm-hmm. I, was, I was always chasing you. You know what I'm saying? I chase you even when I know you wrong because I felt like you are a prize. You are a queen. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like I was always from my perspective doing that. And I felt like I had the breakup was so detrimental to me and my my must haves in this relationship was not being met. But I felt like taking that step and like, I need to be happy for myself mm-hmm. and that those things aren't happening. But I feel like if she loses me, she don't give a fuck. Mm. That's what I was feeling. I literally was feeling like, yo, Natalie, don't like, I'm not a prize to her. Mm-hmm. I feel like if I walk out right now, she'd be like, okay, yeah, whatever. Like, that's what I was feeling okay. versus where I knew if you walked out on me, 
like, nigga, my heart is breaking. I'm aching. And it just feels like that because I felt that before. So for me, that life that I was living while we were broken up, it wasn't necessarily like, oh, yeah, we're the hoes. I'm looking for the hoes. I, it wasn't that. It was just like, damn, man, like, I'm not about to be chasing that. I'm not about to chase her. I always chase her. And I always, it's always the easy got to go kiss some ass. Easy got to go do this. Easy got to do that. And that's where my perspective I felt like. So it was just like, man, I want to be the prize. Fight for me. Fight for this love. For me, this is what I need you to fight for. And it's, Let me listen, ask you a question, on. though. No, what's the I question? I just want to ask you a question. What's the question? Whenever you were out there living your life, <laughs> uh -huh. were you doing that because you thought I would, like, you were actually doing that consciously thinking, like, I want to be the prize. I want her to fight for me. Uh -huh. Or were you just done because it was giving just done, done. it yeah, didn't yeah. get like you like it was like a strategic thing where you were trying to no it wasn't necessarily strategic it was more so subconscious subconscious that i can okay. say now uh, you know what i'm saying but it wasn't it wasn't i wasn't holding back like i was just going out like you know what i'm saying usually like okay i got a girl i really don't want to go out like that i want to be booed up but it's like i'm about to live you know what i'm saying if you want me come get me mm -hmm. do the things i need you to do and step up to the plate because you finna lose me. That's what I, that's what my mindset was. And I felt like the shit that I needed to be done, like, I ain't never seen you work that hard. And it was like, yo, this really my bitch. Oh, <laughs> not your bitch. <laughs> not your bitch. All right, come on, man. I'm talking to my homie right now. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but <laughs> wow. come on now. We tapped in. We best friends. Come on. Ain't no switching up. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> You're a queen. You're a queen. See what I'm saying? No, come on now. Come on. But uh, you what, know I don't but, like you calling me that. There's only yeah. one time. I don't, no, yeah. Mind, okay. Mind, so mind. it's getting awkward. But um, she says it's getting awkward. Um. <laughs> so I felt like yeah. Overall, it was just it wasn't that I was strategically planning something. It was just I was over it and I didn't feel like you were doing what you needed to do to like to keep me. You know what I'm saying? And it meet my non-negotiables you know what i'm saying so you see me outside you see me hang out with my friends you know what i'm saying it just was it was like i'm in that i don't give a fuck mode until shit change you know what i'm saying and unfortunately you were going through a tough time you know what i'm saying and i wasn't really paying attention to that because usually when we do break up or if we ever broke up it's like okay how's that what's she doing like okay let me bring you something let me buy you something off amazon you i know you needed a face scrub or whatever it was, I wasn't paying attention. You know what I'm saying? I was treating it like a real breakup as if you like moved across the country. And I know that hurt you because you are my best friend and I do know you. And I, you know, you did tell me the things you were going through, but yeah, that's, that's, that's what I was, you know, and mm -hmm. that's what was going through my mind. Yeah. You know, Wow. wow. that's what I was, you know, <sighs> it's shit. tough. I mean, I feel like I, I definitely, I understand the perspective and I understand the reason why mm -hmm. you, were feeling the way that you were feeling and stuff and you know I understand the reason why I guess I, I don't I still don't agree with the way that you handled it but I will say that I understand how you were handling it from your description <laughs> From what you're From saying, what you're saying I can get, get, I can wrap my bit. mind around why you, yeah. But it it did still it because it's not even like I needed it to not be a real breakup. Like mm -hmm. a real breakup to me, what is when you break up, you don't know if you're getting back together or not. And but I, I feel thinking. like the things that I was able to show her mm -hmm. during the breakup was what, what made her decide that I'm worthy of keeping. And I feel like the things that you showed me was like, do you, I really questioned, like, I really was questioning, like, did you love me? Right. Like, did she really love me? Like, what was all of this? But now you, the thing is, and I think that's why we're here today mm -hmm. is because you know that. Yeah, you know I, that, do. I, I do. I, I do. I continue know, to show I know, that. I know that you love me, but I don't know. I'm still working through the emotions. I'm yeah. not going to lie. I'm still working through the emotions because we people handle things in different ways and I just kind of feel like the the things that I felt it just didn't it didn't feel like the way that I would I wanted to feel so once I was able to be like all right you know what if she's saying because there was first of all I want to make this clear that there was we were both set on the breakup at first 
And then it got to the point where I was like, all right, I wanted to like work it out and stuff like that. And she still felt like she wasn't getting what she wanted, even though I wasn't still getting what I wanted either. But I trusted that she would give it to me. But she, I guess, felt like she needed to see specific things first. Right. And you know know I did. And you did. And I know I'm telling you the audience. Right. You did that. Say it with your chest. Say it like what you did. So, so. So wait, I'm just trying to explain to them how, you know, how it went and Mm -hmm. stuff like that. So then, you know, I started, you know, being like, okay, if these are the things that she wants, I'm going to do these things. And, but then honestly, I got pissed after I started doing the things. It was so backwards. Here's the things now. But fuck you, bitch. Yeah. I was fucking over for real. It was so. Here's the things. Her fucking pride, bro. The fuck up. Like that's how it was. No, I'm, it was it your ego, Natalie. No. Natalie, no. it was so ego. Literally, okay. So imagine no. I'm saying to you, and and we we try not to get too in too specifics, but this is the podcast where we need to have it. Like you were doing what you needed to do, and it was so dramatic because it wasn't like, hey, I need you to please just cook for me because you know if she cooks, she throw down or whatever. It was some huge shit. Like it was detrimental to where we broke the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? And what you did showed me in a way just like all right this is my queen this is a girl i've been i've been fighting for you know what i'm saying and that's what i needed to feel that but when you did it it was like yeah here it is but i'm out now you better come chase me type shit that's i'm like oh my god honestly it wasn't even a chase thing i really felt it was because i swear it was not ego what it was was i felt I was unhappy with the way that she was acting during the breakup. It felt like, oh, you wanted all the X, Y, and Z. And I felt like, she, you know, you were saying one thing, but then doing different things. Mm-hmm. And it just felt like, do you deserve me? That's you what feel I like, started feeling like. Do you feel like you had outside influences that make you feel that way? Because No, for, absolutely I, not. That's where I say it's ego then. Because no, for me, not ego. no, I'm saying, I'm saying from my perspective, it felt like ego only because it's like this. So say if I come to you and I say, you know what? Sorry, I broke your, sorry, I, you're mad that I broke your cup. You know what I'm saying? We, I broke your phone, you know, I, I broke your phone or whatever. And you're like, yo, I'm mad. I'm pissed off or whatever. So I'm like, you know what? Here, guess what? I bought you the new phone that just came out. Brand new X, Y, and Z. You happy because I damaged your phone, your property. You know what I'm saying? And I finally was like, you know what? I'm sorry. I apologize for breaking your phone. Here's your phone, bitch. I'm out. Like, imagine. That's what it felt like. <laughs> Tell me that's not the exact. Bro, right. bro, that bro, is, there there. is that a great example? <laughs> it's not in it. Bro. Okay, listen. That that's exa- a great example. That example. That's, so that's what I felt. I get- imagine. I'm going to let you finish, but... <laughs> That's what no. I felt through the breakup. No. It was like, okay, I, I got you, example. girl, but bitch, no, I'm out. I get that example, but I just want y'all to know, first of all, it wasn't like that. It wasn't <laughs> bitch, I'm out. But it was more so like, it was like things that I was hearing that she was saying. It was things that like actions I was seeing, uh, actions and just like things I was discovering that was happening during the breakup that made me feel like, Wait, I'm out here literally boohoo crying every day, every night, and not even doing shit, and not even working nothing, mm-hmm. and you're out here doing X, Y, and Z, yeah. And it was just like, oh, I, oh, I, I did these things, but like you kind of just showed me like my worth, pretty like, much like how worth, what I said. I was showing you my true colors it, after that's a breakup. That's what it felt like. That's what it felt like to me. But then, you know, then she started putting in her work to show me that you know overall once we showed each other that look we want to do this you know what i'm saying we was like all right we are totally two different people and we're not it was months a lot of people we we kind of insinuated what was happening it was a breakup but it was months that we were broken up and we both were giving each other what we needed and we got over that ego stage of all right, like, well, I want her to chase me. I want her to chase me. We got over that stage. Yeah, and we're like, do this we want to be together? Exactly. Period. Like, yeah. it's not about, I feel like the beginning stage of a breakup is always childish. It's going to yeah. be the childish stage. You go through so many it's different gonna be, things. Some, some people might be out partying. Some people might just not text back. That was me when you would text me. I wouldn't text you back because yeah. I was staying with my 
siblings, both of them. And I was just like, I ain't gonna text back. You know what I'm saying? So you might play that game at first, but then when the real real hits and it's like, oh shoot, like, yeah. wait, so are we really never going to be together again? And it's like, all right, well, if we are going to be together again, what are we both willing to do to make that happen? Mm. And that's when the magic happened. I feel mm. like when we, when reality hit, that was like, all right, do you want to lose your best friend, your business partner, your lover, lover. all yeah. three things that, I mean, what we, the dynamic we have isn't easily replicable. Like yeah. you can't just create this. Damn, you look good. This is the way you, like, you look at my brother here. <laughs> <laughs> just between us, uh, you look good. <laughs> You look blessed. You was on 75 Heart. She started at 75 Heart Challenge when we broke up. She said, I'm going to turn into a bad bitch. So yeah. Oh, yeah. I started yeah. going hard. Yeah. Two a days. Two, two a days. days. I was already like two weeks in by you the time on she, she saw me again. She look good. Like, I was damn. like, damn. Goddamn. It was hard, though, living together and being broken up. But oh, Exactly. And that's yeah. the reason why I left and I packed my suitcase. She saw me on the cameras, y'all. Yeah, Just she packed between her us. Shit. Yeah. But um, overall, so I want to say... Uh, wait. Wait, I got a question. I guys? have a question. What's your question, girl? What's your question? Go. Wait, I don't know. Should you ask your question first? What's your question? <laughs> What's your I question? wanted to know. Are you going to forget your question? No, nah, I won't forget. I promise. So, were you talking to other people? Was during the breakup? Nah. You weren't? Nah. No, I wasn't talking to anybody. And I could be honest. I wasn't talking to anybody. And I felt like... The fuck, first of all, the gay community, it's so like messy. You know what I'm saying? You heard some of the stories I was telling you, you know what I'm saying? Um, But no, I actually wasn't talking to anybody. I felt like everybody out there showed me how much more I have a beautiful royal queen. You know what I'm saying? I was like, these streets ain't made for walking and that ain't what I want to do. I just want to come home. I want to come home and get back to you. Okay. That was trash. But okay. no, nah, I wasn't talking to anybody. I literally, man, there was, I realized that, you know, I was slimming down and I felt like women were looking at me. You know what I'm saying? And there was a situation where, you know, a girl did want to talk to me. Um, and I felt like I didn't want to risk it. You know what I'm saying? Because although I was single, it was like, this would be the perfect opportunity to do it. And I was just like, you know what? I still am in love with Natalie. And I feel like until I, I fall out of love with her, I don't want to pursue anything. Mm -hmm. You know? And I feel like that's unfair to her. You know? And So I when you say you didn't want to risk it, you didn't want to risk what? I don't want to risk losing you. Mm, like for good? Yeah, 100%. Because I know you. You don't play that shit. Mm -hmm. and, and, and regardless <laughs> regardless if we broke up or not, like I already knew. If I entertain anybody it was just like i gotta think about that and all i could see is just your eyes you know what i'm saying and the way you look at me and you're hurt and i've seen you cry before and i just didn't want to i didn't want to come back to that you know what i'm saying and you hearing through the grapevine like damn you know you just talking to this new girl and they all booed up and you know what i'm saying i ain't want you to have to go through that pain you know yeah and i love you too much thanks yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know but we did you know you so, did see some shit you did see some shit mm -hmm. i definitely did she not. Seen some shit, and it wasn't it wasn't too i could just just between us you know i'm just keeping it 100 you know and it wasn't it wasn't detrimental but it made her feel away you know and yeah it wasn't detrimental because y'all know y'all know how i am it wasn't yeah. detrimental but it definitely made me feel away and i'm still working through like the emotions now and stuff mm -hmm. so what do you think is like the difference then between a a break and a break up oh and we were broken up we were broken up mm -hmm. or do you consider we broken up or a break we're we were broken up no so okay you know what's funny but she was treating me hey. like it was a break and so I, I'm, like, I, I'm single let me let me let me tell you first of all let me tell you what's funny what's funny so, so when we <laughs> first had the conversation about possibly Taking oh, a break. I did say some it shit. It was it was supposed to be taking a break. It was that first. And it turned into no, well, not just a break. I think we should see other people. I did say that. And I was Ooh. like, hold the I said that. I couldn't, bro. First of all, it broke my heart. I could not stop crying. And I was just like, whoa. Yeah. You want to see other people? So then, you know, that's when it was like, all right, no, this is not a break. This is a break up. Because to me, if you take a break, 
you are not dating other people. You're not sleeping with other people. None of that. It's all off limits, but you might just not talk to each other for a while. She might go somewhere. The other person might go the other place. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. What is your definition <laughs> of a break and a breakup? Well, yeah, I feel like a break and a breakup is kind of different. You know what I'm saying? But either way, if you're taking a break, you're able to do whatever you want to do. That's No, opinion. not a break. What? A break? Yeah, you need a break from this shit. No. What's the what's the point of calling it just a break thing? Is it because you have the intentions of getting back together and then it's like it's a free for all until a certain set know. date? It's like know. you could do whatever you want, but then on the first, <laughs> first cut all that shit month. out. Um, I guess the difference between a breakup for me is more so just like, yeah, with a break, you kind of like trying to find yourself, trying to do whatever you need to do. And if in that break somebody just tries to pursue you or if you try to pursue somebody, it's not off limits. Hmm. It's not off limits. That was so was it off limits for you or it, I told you, I told uh, okay. you, I, I, I just, literally yeah, told what I, I said. Reassured. Hey, look, I literally told her, I said, look, if you want to talk to other people, you got to do what you got to do. Mm-hmm. I'm not about to sit here and tell you I want to be done or I need a break. And I'm out here going outside. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what I'm doing, even though I'm telling you like, you know, I'm not on that type of time, but if I, I can't, I can't hold you hostage. You a grown woman. You know what I'm saying? What if I'm really not your soulmate? I mean, God forbid, but like, it was just like, what if yeah, I'm not your and soulmate? To be honest, like I know you didn't ask if I was talking. Do you just think that I didn't talk to anyone else? Why aren't you asking me? I, because I was honestly, this was a real breakup for me. No, I'm saying it was right real. now, right now. Well, why nigga, you asked me? nigga, it's right now, right now, happening right now. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but no, I didn't ask them neither because for me, yeah. Typically, when we do this shit, it's literally it's it's. Or play play. It's high school shit. Mm-hmm. That's how I look at it. So we usually like, oh, so you talking to somebody, you better not talk to nobody. We know what it is. But my mental was like, yo, I'm done. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm, I love this girl. I'm not ready to move on, but I'm not trying to think about what she's doing. That's how far I felt like I was going. So I yeah. wasn't, I wasn't trying to hurt myself by knowing you was talking to somebody. Even if you was or wasn't, it wasn't, it didn't cross my mind because I wasn't trying to know. I was trying to focus on me. You feel me? Yeah. So, that's that's what it was but so <laughs> yeah i mean what? to answer everyone else's question because y'all are probably the only one curious to know if i was talking to someone else because she don't seem curious okay i'll ask no, i'll you ask, don't have to ask me. <laughs> I'll you ask. Have to ask me. It's, it's your just business between us now. It's, it's your business, though. You are allowed yeah. to have that, and I respect yeah. that. I respect that between you and whatever you were doing and going through. You I would do. not have. If, if I, I were to talk to someone else, she would not be here right now. I wouldn't. I would 100%. Exactly. So but I don't need know to know answer. that. I don't need to know that. It's not my business. We were broken up. But you really knew that. Natalie. Like, I'm I knew saying that. during the breakup. I knew, knew that, that because I do know you. But I also, you do keep things to yourself. You kept a lot of things to yourself, not like as in anything that you had any ill intent uh, about. But it was your journey. And it's not that I didn't care about you. I literally was just. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about right now. I, I know what like you're talking you're, about. You're, yeah, I'm not talking about. You want about me to know. All right, my, all right, all right, all right, all right. Was you talking to anybody or not? Because this is the energy you want. Was you talking to anybody? Was you? Was you seeing somebody else? Anyway. <laughs> no, nah, seriously. Was you talking to somebody? Let me, let me ask you. Let me, no, I don't care. Yeah, I don't yeah. care. I just think it's bizarre that we're on the topic and you don't ask. Okay, but so let's talk about it. You want to no, talk about I it? I didn't let, talk to anyone else. Just between us. Okay, just between us. Just between us. I didn't. You did it? No. You didn't even entertain nobody. Entertain. Oh, I entertained, I entertained the thought of, though. Mm. I did, eventually, because okay. I was just like, all right, now I really need to know what it would feel like if we're never together again. So what was the thought for you? Because this is getting deep. I just, the, the thought, thought was just that, like... I wasn't ready to talk to anyone so because I was like literally just heartbroken all the time so just didn't I didn't even feel like I could entertain anybody mm-hmm. but I was starting towards the end of our breakup I was starting to wrap my mind around like we're not going to be together and like what life was going to look like without you and I was it was starting like I had already processed so many emotions that I was accept I was going I was almost at the acceptance stage Mm. even though it was like really heartbreaking still I was starting to accept it and then I feel like once you accept then you kind of move through a lot of the grief already so either way if you're moving through the grief which is understandable that's the healing journey that you were on was you talking to anybody or trying to talk to somebody? I said, <laughs> I said no. no. I wasn't. I wasn't. You interested. see, nobody cute. Nobody. 
It wasn't that I didn't see anyone cute, or it was definitely wasn't that no one wasn't was trying wasn't trying to talk. Oh, to you me. fine as fuck. I but, mean, somebody they be trying when we was together, right? So, so it mean, wasn't that I didn't have the opportunity or whatever the case may be. It was just I wasn't you ready. I wasn't ready, and I was like, "What do I look like? Boohoo, crying and going out on a date or something? That's mm. weird." So I have a but, question, and this is just between us, the audience, mm-hmm. like you know, just between all of us. Is it right if your ex, now ex, you guys are broken up, me and Natalie broke up. Is it right for them to go through your phone and see that you possibly could be talking to somebody else and them to scold you for it and be mad at? It's between us. I want you guys to answer that question in the comments. You know, let me know. Um, Natalie, what do you, what do you, what do you feel about that? <laughs> it's just deep. It's getting deep. Honestly, it's last deep question. I feel like, I feel like, I, I don't know. I feel like if you think that you might see something that will confirm what type of person they are to help you to move on, mm-hmm. then do what you got to do. So you, because you think you should go through their phone? If you feel like, even though they're if single, you feel like you don't. It's not okay. So now we have to like break down, da- break this down more because whenever you say that you're just single, if you're broken up for good and you know, there ain't no coming back, then there's absolutely no reason to do that. But the type of breakup that we had and we actually talked about it, it was not just we're single, blah, blah, blah. It was like the goal was to hopefully one day come back to each other. Right. So, and it was like, all right, we're single right now. We Got need it. to get things together to be able to be better together. That was the the conversations. That's not what it was feeling like. So you, that's so, why you went through my phone. That's exactly why I went through <laughs> your phone because I felt like what you were showing me and what you were showing the world and your friends was two mm-hmm. different things. So I had to confirm whether or not you were somebody that could be trusted. And when you went through my phone, was I somebody to be trusted or no? To be determined. <laughs> to be determined. To, to be determined. So I determined. I feel like it was TBD. It was it was something that she seen, and I felt like I felt like that was invasion of privacy a little bit. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's, I don't think that you should do that. I don't think that if you guys aren't together, you guys should go through each other's phone. I think, you know, a lot of people can, a lot of people can agree even when you are together, it can get toxic, but you know, we're, you know, that's whoever's relationship. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Okay. Well, I ain't go through your is. phone. It is what it is. You <laughs> didn't go through my phone because what I was showing you was an upstanding partner. <laughs> during the breakup even like you know i feel like i didn't we handle ourselves so differently i didn't feel like i put any moments like you said i know you whenever i said why didn't you ask me it's because i know you i know the type of person you are i also know the type of person that you are and that you're you know what i'm saying and it's like we were best friends at, at a certain point so i know that i know the single you as well and the the stuff that i was seeing like and hearing through the grapevine was definitely giving the single version of you, which was t- completely different than when we would come, come together, together and interact. So I felt like I need to know what's really going on so that I know, am I really just closing myself off to any possibility of us ever working or not? So what- And I would say what I saw wasn't, wasn't like detrimental to the point of like, oh, she's talking to someone else. Or something like that, because if that if or going out with girls or whatever, if that was the case, like this podcast wouldn't be happening right now. But it was definitely enough to like for me to be like, hold up, what's and, this shit right here? Yeah, and we had to like we had to work through it, and you know we're still working through some things. But yeah, so so you know. so so what are we? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so what are so what are we? <laughs> I mean, we're together. We are, I guess. We together, I guess. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, y'all. So, uh, you know, I guess we can you know announce it here. You know what I'm saying? Um, Natalie is officially my girlfriend again. Yeah, can we? Get I out? took her back. She took my back. Look, see what I'm talking about? I took her back. Okay, I took her back. Yeah, but yes. it was you know what I took Natalie was, back. Just keep you know it one hundred, baby. Was, she you took, come here, come here, give, come here, keep it one hundred. It's just between us. I'm about us. to try to keep it one hundred. Don't don't get offended. 
Don't get offended. It, what happened was. Don't so put, she put did. your ego aside and tell me you love me. I love you. I love you too. Okay. All right. So what it, what it was was. What it was that, was. Yeah, I mean, we just explained to them what happened. It was like, I gave you the things that you needed to see. And then I said, but I'm out. <laughs> but I'm out. Yes. And then and then you had to do, uh, you know, a little bit of chasing and kissing. I was like, all right, you doing what you you doing what you're supposed to do. I'm gonna come home. So it was, it was streets. a group effort, and the, yeah. even this conversation makes it seem like it was all about ego, but it wasn't. It wasn't. I mean, we did have some moments where even I I feel like I'm learning right now just based off of the things that we're saying. I was like, okay, we had a few egotistical moments during that breakup. It was like, you know, a little bit of I want you to chase me. No, I want you to chase me. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, we both did what was needed required to yeah. we both did what was required yeah. and i feel like we've grown so much from it but you know what you took one hell of a risk because like what if i wasn't you know what if what if what what if i would have made you do some like bizarre stuff to get back with you? that's ego. like that's ego. no but what if i would have like what? you know that that show the ultimatum like, what if I would have made us, like, go on the show or something <laughs> Bro. To, take me, to get back together? Okay, so if y'all don't know what the ultimatum is, it's pretty much uh, <laughs> love partners go on there, and they really want to get married. And because their partner's not ready to get made it married, they give them an ultimatum where it's like, all right, either we get married or I'm going to go date this other person. On the show. On I'm the show, on television, national person. television or whatever. So you're saying that what if we, like, went on the ultimatum? Yeah, like, what if I like, was, right. like... You know, because by the time I did what I had to do to make you feel secure about the relationship, and then you're like, all right, I'm ready to be back together. And I was like, no, we're going on Netflix, and we're going to go on Ultimatum. Ain't no way. You want to do it? You would have nah, just said we're over? Then, the thing is, like I said, when you were single, I wasn't I wasn't inquiring what you was doing. Because I knew, even even if you was, you know, was like fucking telling, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, I won't say that. But if you was doing some crazy stuff, if you was wilding, you know, you know what? I'm, I want to be single. I have to see it. Netflix, the ultimatum. Like I'm, a, I'm not even gonna know what you're gonna be doing. But it's about until to be after public. the show. So, exactly. Until after Ain't we no may way. have worked out anyway. Some of them people look crazy. Oh my god. So, okay. Y'all. What about what about this? They what, look insane. What it's so if, sad. What if you see me on the camera coming inside? Mm-hmm. We single. Oh no, nah, we we ready to get. I don't even know. Uh-huh. You see me coming inside with a girl. You know, say on a ring camera. In and, our house? In our house. And I'm like, what? I pay bills in? I'm like, what? I just can't heal my cousin with the groceries? I just can't heal my cousin with the groceries? Yeah. <laughs> what would Dang. you do? What would you do if you seen that? Mind you, I'm single, though. See, that's Help your cousin in our the, house with, with the, the groceries? <laughs> and I know all your cousins. Oh, hell nah. Yes, yeah, so my different cousin from my from my, my, my daddy, cousin, mama. You already baby, know what daddy time side. it is. What you doing? Because that was, if y'all know what I'm talking about, that was Michi and uh, Summer, Summer Walker. Walker. And he, what, what you think uh, that about that? That's crazy. That's fucked up, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I love, I love, um, you know, his show or whatever. But I'm like, damn, bro. No, I felt Come bad. On, man. Uh, Summer Walker was literally she, crying during her crying? performance. During her performance, like, boo hoo crying. The damn, audience, Michi. Come on, bro. You gotta do better. The audience was crying, watching her, singing Aww. along. It was like a love song. Like, mm-hmm. But love is oh that's my song too yeah but, i can't sing it but uh-huh. you know let her sing it but <laughs> y'all i felt so bad honestly i feel like he got caught and that's that's another thing i'm a big believer that god and the universe is going to bring to you the knowledge you need anyway yeah. so that's kind of like my mindset about going through phones too because i'm just like hey if the knowledge is there <laughs> god wanted me to see it man that's crazy bro <laughs> Meech, come on and man I just, I just feel like i just kind of feel like it fell into her lap she didn't even have to go out there searching like she might have felt like there was something a little off mm-hmm. and then it fell into her lap and that was not no cousin yeah but come you know on. people were saying no like you knew what kind of dude he was or X, Y, and Z. And that brings me to That's another cool. topic. That brings me to another topic. Like, even with, like, all these uh, rappers and, like, stuff like that, they pretty much saying, like, women that date men that are expected to cheat, you pretty much deserve it. Like, type shit. Or it's like, you know, oh, you, what you thought? Like, he, you had three kids. Like, you th- he young. You thought he was going to settle with you? I'm like, damn. A girl can't, yeah. like, even go through a real, like, heartbreak or without people judging her. can't even have hope. Yeah, even like, like I a, can't have hope right. that this person would change because if I was just going based off of 
you I know, feel it's messed up. When that's we got messed, messed up. up. I hope that we were able to provide mm-hmm. everybody with a little something, something. Yeah. And y'all got a little sneak peek into what the breakup was like was for crazy. us. And I, I, and I did something special, you know, to, uh, to show her I really wanted her and be back with her. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all tune She's in. She's been working that. over time, y'all. Yeah. And I love it. And I, f- I feel like we both have, though. Honestly, yeah. I, f- I will say this. Like, our relationship is totally different than it was mm, evolved before, and it just lit in within a few months. Mm-hmm. I feel like the time apart and then the time coming together and realizing, like, all right, no, this is real life, like, we're not just about to be together just to be together. Like, I feel like God really put us in the position to be like, yeah. hey, y'all are not growing together, right? So, I'm gonna separate y'all. If you can't get this, if you can't get it together. And that was like our real. We learned a lot. I feel like we we literally had to do that. God was like, yo, you guys is taking what y'all got for granted. For, for real, for real. We was taking and y'all it, aren't, it y'all, for you're not serving each other anymore. Yeah. You're not serving each other's growth anymore. It you're actually hindering yeah. it. You're hindering each other's growth. And we were bringing out the worst in each other in certain circumstances. So it was yeah. like, are y'all going to become like, are you good for each other again? Mm-hmm. Or are you going to stay on this like toxic path? And we're not done no more. No, we're not. We're like way happier. And we're and back on YouTube, obviously. We're no. back on YouTube. <laughs> and we just, we communicate so much better oh now. God, so much we have so it. much more patience for each other. The passion is there. The passion is love there. Is there. The, the love, intimacy. the respect. Like, we have not intimacy. disrespected each other. The intimacy. Mm-hmm. Is it? You, yeah. <laughs> My brother. <laughs> ah. Ah. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, the intimacy. The in- yeah. Well. There you have it. Just Between Us podcast. I'm Easy. And I'm Natalie. And make sure you guys follow us on all our streaming platforms. Um, is, am I promoting my music? Wait, why does she streaming platforms? Is that what it is? Yeah. Streaming platforms. Yeah. Streaming okay. Platforms for podcasts. Yeah. Right. The streaming platforms. Make sure you guys follow us. Tune in on YouTube. Easy X Natalie. Um, Just Between Us podcast. Um, and we're all over everywhere. I'm Easy EE on all platforms. And I'm Natalie Odell on all platforms. And Just Between Us. Love y'all. Thank you for tuning in episode one.